Now little Joe the Wrangler, he'll wrangle never more. His days on the Remuda, they are o'er. Twas a year ago last April that he rode into our camp. Just a little Texas stray and all alone. He said he had to leave his home, his pa had married twice. His new ma licked him every day or two. So he saddled up old Joe one night and let a shuck this way. Now he's trying to paddle his own canoe. He said if we... Welcome back to Mountain Man, my free-to-play Ultimate Iron Man locked out of all major cities and towns. This episode was made to show my appreciation to everyone that's been helping me, everyone who's been coming up with new ideas, and overall pushing this account further than it could have ever gone on its own. So follow me, shed your civilized ways, and welcome back to episode 3 of Mountain Man. This episode was hard for me to come up with a grab, the reason people should stick around for. I thought I'd build the Baronite Mace or maybe get the Amulet Mold, but as I progressed, I realized just how many levels I was getting. So I decided to do an episode about levels. There are a ton of levels to cover, but before we get into the episode, I wanted to give an extra big shout out to 1897. When I was spitballing ideas for an area-locked account on the free-to-play clan chat World 385, 1897 gave me the idea for Mountain Man. I was unable to find his name, so in episode 1, I didn't credit him. I did have it written in to thank him, I just couldn't find his name. So, this one's for you, 1897. And truly, all the guys and gals from the Join New CC of World 385. So... Without further ado, let's jump right into the action. Just grabbing my handy dandy tinder box. So apparently this is a little unknown uh, secret, but you can take the axe from this log. Alright, so here are the two fishing nets that I can use in game. So to break down fishing, we can only use the fishing net because everything else you have to buy in a store. There are no drops for the harpoon, for the fishing rod, for the fly fishing rod, for anything. Which was also why I ended up selling all of my feathers. Because we can't use them. Aw oh shit, on the walk over, we get hit with Rick Turpentine. What do you got for us? What do you give us? Cash? Hold hard cash, I like it. Right, and here's where we're gonna be for a bit. This is, uh, this is a really pretty spot, and it's way better than the other spots for shrimp and anchovies because there's a, a tree right here that I can chop down and cook on. There's also a cooking pot over here if I wanted to as well, but I want the fire making and wood cutting XPs, so I'm gonna stick with this. I'll see you at level two. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys why I'm here. So at level seven, we can get the first part of our fishing levels. Because originally I thought we'd only be able to do fishing up to level 15 where we get anchovies, but we can actually fish inside of the ruins of Camadozel. And those have three different levels of fish, guppy, cave fish, and tetra. And that's level seven, level 20, and level 33. So we're just gonna fish into level seven. And then we're gonna switch over. Nice! And I think this is a big level because we can get into the Chef's Guild, which is awesome. We just need to kill a goblin for a chef's hat, and we're good to go. Nice! So that is guppies, but 
It says try, so we're just gonna go to 15, get to anchovies here, and then we're gonna switch to there once we get to 15. Nice. 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 Okay, I half missed this level. This is level 15, but I clicked it on accident. So we are at level 15 fishing, which is when that was when we were gonna finish. So I'm gonna finish this inventory off. Thank you, game. Yo, am I going insane here? Or is Captain Talk a player? He's not yellow. He doesn't have a yellow icon on his little, his little dot, you know? He looks no different than CT63. That's crazy. So right now I'm heading to the wilderness to pick up a few items for fighting because I want to get my stats up to 30. We're, we're still looking low. We're still looking like we could be taken out by a strong breeze. So what I'm thinking we do is I was suggested by someone that I should start killing monks because they have high HP, they don't do a ton of damage, and I read on the Wikipedia that I can also ask them to heal me if need be. The problem is is that there's no drops, so except for bones. But I, you know, I was killing cows and chickens before, so drops aren't necessary. And thus the grind begins. What is this? What happened there? What was that? I don't I don't fight these things. What what is happening here? Or well, whatever it is, he's getting dunked on. So what I'm doing now was suggested by Jennifer Spence, and what I'm doing is marking off all of the out of bounds areas in game. Runelight has a plugin that lets you mark specific tiles, so I'm going to every city tile in the game and marking them off limits. So while I was out doing the city markings, I got another gold bar. Nice! Every city in game is marked in red now. Let me just heal up from this monk here. Why, thank you, sir. Nice. Nice. Hey, that guy looks like a guard. Like, one of the Falador city guards. Did he just dig a hole and go inside it? Is this man a mole man? Is he trying to get his prayer up? Oh, he came out of the hole. See? Look, <laughs> he looks just like a Falador guard. Damn it. Missed another defense level. I swear I'm gonna get these levels on film. It's just so wildly inaccurate because they heal themselves. Ugh. Missed another 250 total level two. This is all your fault. All right, so we got to talk about something. I think I'm going crazy here, but this left gold bar is smaller than the right one, right? I mean, I mean, look at this. Look at this thing. It, it's just, I, I can't put my finger on it, but one's bigger than the other. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'm not going crazy. The right gold bar is bigger now. Or was it always the bigger one? Which one was it? <laughs> Okay, so I was doing some research on mine golems because I wanted to know what the recommended melee stats for farming them. And I saw there was a section for mind goblins. So I'm like, oh, when did they add a new character? Well, they didn't. I got fucking got so hard by RuneScape's very own wiki. Look at this. I've been had. <laughs> got he nice. Nice. Yeah, this is gonna take too long again. Sylvester, hit it.
Nice. Nice. Alright, just finishing this up and steel plate body. Alright. Nice. Nice. Alright, so here's our new stats. We're gonna head into the ruins of Camdozel and fight ourselves a mind golem. Baronite Guard, here we come. <laughs> this is crazy. What, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Alright, I, I can't do this yet. Uh, I gotta figure something else out. So I just noticed as I was leaving the ruins that I need one attack XP. Uh, oh well. Okay, now, now don't you be telling me that the right one doesn't look smaller than the left one now. This game is fucking with me. This is smaller than this. It's got to be. I I'm I'm going I'm going mad here. I I, I got to get rid of these things. Son of a bitch. I freaking uh, 31 attack. I'll explain to you what I'm doing at Giant Frogs behind Lumbridge's castle. We are going to fight these guys uh, until level 40 on on all our stats because we're getting our asses handed to us left, right, and center. My thought is, is that, yeah, we're, we're going to lose some health here because this, these guys don't fuck around. They swing in their big old tongues at us and there's truly nothing that we can do to stop them. But if we take too much damage, I can swing over to the giant rats right here. There's a level six rat. We can kill them, grab the rat meat, cook it with a tree that, that tree way over there. And then we can get our health back. So that's what we're going to be doing. I love the noise that frogs make. It's so, it's so relaxing. Eh, this is like, eh, you could have ASMR with this stuff. <laughs> it's so cute, they stick out their little tongues when they die. <laughs> so, I know that this is not the content we were all looking for, but the problem with switching to pretty much anything right now is just that we start filling up our inventory with very important things that we don't want to lose those inventory spaces for. So I think that when we do head to Ruins of Camdozel, we're going to be there for a while. It's, it's going to be a long grind because we're going to get the Baronite Mace, we're going to get 40 smithing and 40 mining, and we're probably going to get a ton of levels in fishing and, and prayer and cooking as well. This shed is members only. Like, oh yeah, I'm in here trying to steal these, these barrels and sacks. Oh, this empty shelves. Yeah, that's what's going to make me become a member. <laughs> yeah. Oh, examine this crate. I can do it from here. Losers. Get scammed. Get scammed, Jagex. Damn, damn. We out here catching strays from these frogs. Holy shit. Six health. Just got a clue scroll from a frog. It is something I can do. Badass. We'll hold on to that for a little bit. No, I missed a level 33 strength because of this stupid fucking thing. Zombie walk emote. We are looking fucking cool as hell. These frogs are whooping my ass. Yo, but on a real note, I love the tiny frogs. They are so funny. Look, look at this. Look at this thing. I'm playing with fire. Oh, but don't get burned. Oh, it's hot. It's hot in the fire. Nice. 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 Yo, shout out to old school RuneScape giant frog death animation for real. Gotta be one of my favorite genders. Alright, we're finished with giant frogs for a bit, so let's go do this clue scroll. So we're going to take this, 
We are heading to outside of Draenor Village, and we're going to go dig this thing up and see if it's a one-step clue. All right, let's see what it is. Mother. Okay, we can actually do this one. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty fucking awesome. All right, off to Varrock. All right, try number two. Let's do it. Yes, we have it. Our first clue scroll casket. It is a beginner, but we could potentially get some great shit out of here. Let's let's rip that bandaid off. It's literally just fucking magic gear. It's like, you know, giving someone a, a fucking plate instead of the food. <laughs> I think we're dropping it. All right, we're picking up a net. And you'll see why in a moment. Aw, oh, shit. Miles, that's a fucking bowl. What'd I get? Money? I got money. All right, we are out here to buy a cape. Now, this is gonna be real controversial because everyone's got their own opinion on what is the best cape in game. And uh, I think that until we can unlock the pink striped one, which is members, the, the horizontal striped, we have to go with the claw looking thing, whatever this is. And we're staying with pink because I think pink is the coolest color. It pops. It locks, it drops, and now our back isn't naked. And I think it also gives a plus one defense bonus, so like, honestly, definitely worth it. Alright, so we finished what we needed to do, and now we're gonna do some more melee training at the hill giant area in Al Karid. And the reason for that is because... Uh, there's someone here? God damn it. Alright, well we gotta switch over, so... All right, we got a world to ourselves now. Let's try it out. What I'm planning on doing is killing these hill giants. And when I need food, I'm going to go down to the shoreline and I'm going to fish and I'm going to get shrimp. And then I'm going to take that shrimp and there's a range right next to it. And I'm going to cook it on the range and then keep walking. And I'm going to walk over back to here and keep training. And we're going to get to 40 on base stats we are going to be getting some much better drops because this is like the first type of character that we've killed that actually has drops. Uh, coins, not bad. Oh, and a clue scroll. Are you kidding me? Fucking fantastic. Okay, pretty sure that was a, uh, yeah, Fortuna, Draenor Manor. No. Another clue scroll. Look at this. We're so fucking lucky. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is Falador. This is like outside of Falador, not real Falador. So we could totally do this. still getting my ass handed to me by these things. Robert Balboa, we need your help again. Hey, how's my buddy doing today? Yo, fuck you. Nice. 
Okay, so of course I missed the most important level in the grind. Well, one of like three. It's a uh, level 40 defense. Nice. A swing and a miss. That is 40 strength. And that's... Okay, I was recording and it didn't show you. That was level 40. Fuck you, game. Nice. Whoa. 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 Well, what happened? <laughs> it just locked me out for no fucking reason. Well, <laughs> it just got dirty fishing, I guess. Nice. Alright, so we just finished up that grind. We have a clue scroll that I'm gonna go do right now. We have our outfit looking absolutely fire as fuck. And we are going to drop these three. I know this steel plate body took a long time to get, but... We're gonna drop it again because we're not gonna need it. We're gonna be doing some other grinding for a while. Um, and oh, we're not gonna need this either. And we're gonna be doing this. So yeah, here's what our, here's what this is gonna look like for a long time. At least until we get to level 20 and then we can cut the sapphires and maybe turn them into something or whatever. But uh, we're gonna go do something else right now. All right, so I'm almost at the spot. Uh, I am going to drop this iron kite shield because it is pretty heavy and we're trying to get as much space as we possibly can. Not quite sure why I stopped recording. We are here. Let's see. Oh no. Okay, okay, this is Wizard's Tower Basement. It's uh, not bad. I mean, it kind of stinks we gotta go so far, but Oh, another clue. God damn it. This is the worst timeline. This is horrible. We can't do this shit. We just did two fucking glue scroll steps to fucking drop it. God damn it. Alright. Off to what we were actually gonna do. Alright. So we back in the ruins of Camdozel. We're not here to settle the score with the mine goblins. We are here to mine. To break it down, the Baronite Mace, which is second best in slot for free to play, has a few different steps to building it. We need three parts and Baronite Shards. Baronite Shards are found through all three steps. The first part, the Guard, is in the drop table for the Mine Golems and Body Golems. We're going to be focusing on Mine Golems for the Mine Cores, which we'll be able to train Runecrafting with after level 2. The second piece of the Baronite Mace is the Baronite Handle, which is obtained through fishing in the ruins. It doesn't have a drop rate, but it shouldn't be too hard to get. The third piece, and the one we're going for now, is the Baronite Head. It's obtained through mining and smithing Baronite deposits on an anvil. We're going to mine an inventory worth, grab the hammer spawn here, and drop the pickaxe, smith the deposits, grab the pickaxe, or pick up a new one from one of these barrels, and repeat the process until we have the Baronite Mace Head. So, let's go. As you can see, I'm being taunted with an uncut sapphire. Thank you, RuneScape. Very cool. Nice. I feel like uh, I just got one of those shirts that says, like, I went on Splash Mountain and all I got was a smithing level. Oh, what the hell? That's actually huge. That's like one of like the, I don't know, five or six different things that you can get in mining. <laughs> what? This was a one in 350 drop, which is higher than the Baronite head, which is what we're looking for. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with them. Uh, they can be handed. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? We're, get, we're going crazy here. Money, freaking one in 350 drops. Unbelievable. All 
All right, so here's the Baronite Shard Exchange, and I think we're actually going to start this. I guess we don't have enough. It's 2,500, but 10% buff on your chance of mining Baronite in Camdozel, which is these the Baronite Shard things that we've been collecting, and that's just going to speed up everything. It's going to speed up our smithing, speed up our mining. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> no way. We got another useless drop that is more difficult to get than our baronite mace head i can't even believe it this is a one in 350 <laughs> quit giving me trash i can't use this thing this belongs in a museum not on my fucking drop table there we go all right we're getting mining it's active we're in it now we got 10 baronite shards we got a frog token. Is that useful? Can we go to the Varrock shop? Nope. Nice. Hey, I think that spider's taken my sapphire. Alright, so... We're, we're heading out. We, we have not finished yet. But I'm just... Like, I want to get this grind done tonight. And I'm not going to get it if we're sitting there all night swinging our pickaxe. So. Alright, and we're buying an adamant pickaxe because I'm tired of how horribly slow it is with the bronze pickaxe. This is so much faster. I'm, I'm seeing the distance between the places and it's like the closest that they've ever been. See, look at that. Never saw that before. Mm. Jeez. Ooh, nice. Oh my god. This is a, this is another one out of 350. Are you kidding me? What is this luck? This belongs in a museum. Oh my God, this belongs on the ground. Fuck you, stop giving me shit I can't use. What did you give me? Ah, money, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna get the luck buff. That's it? That's what we were looking for. Oh my god, yes. Wow. That is fantastic. Look at this. Ah, oh, this is so nice. What is this examined to? Too delicate to repair. Well, it's gonna fucking break when I drop it on the cold hard ground. Nice. Oh my god. This game was like, yeah, you got what you wanted. Well, here's a bunch of other shit you don't want. It's still cool, though. It's, it's better now. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. <laughs> this is so crazy. These are 1 in 350 drops. I'm getting, like, they're 1 in 3. No, I was typing. Members can now mine es dense essence. It's because I hit level 38. Level 38 mining. All right, I'm going to try something out. I'm going to drop the Baronite head, which costs a lot of money and is worth a lot. Just in case I can't get a second one because I have one in my inventory, you know, kind of like a clue scroll. So we'll see. Maybe I get a second one, you know, who knows? Fuck around, get a second Baronite head. The light looks better than the than the modern. Modern kind of looks like a like ass. Oh wait! Oh my! F <laughs> no fucking way! Did I get us? I didn't even notice it. I picked it up because I was like fucking with this loop beams. Holy shit! I, I don't even know what the fuck to do with this. Nice. Holy shit. I'm still coming down from that double drop. I actually cannot believe that happened. Well, the reason I wanted those last few levels after the mace head was because I wanted to get that 150 levels in one video. 
not just for the crappy clickbait title, but because I knew giving everyone some huge payoffs in the form of extreme gains on the account was more than worth it for me. Here are the stats from the video. To compare them to the beginning of the video, we definitely made the most strides out of any video we've made. This video brought my playtime from a little under 15 hours in game to 40 hours, and from a bit over 55k XP to over 266k XP. Please let me know in the comments if you want to see more of anything or any suggestions you have. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and next episode is going to have a lot of progress and goals reached. Thanks for sticking around so long and thank you to all the new subscribers and the OGs who've been here since episode 1. We've come a long way but we have so much more to cover. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!